we've been told for years that chemical fertilizers are the only way to grow abundant crops. But here's the truth. Long before synthetic products existed, ancient farmers were feeding thriving fields with natural soil boosters that still outperform chemicals today. These forgotten methods are making a huge comeback and Big Ag doesn't want you to know about them because they're cheap, powerful, and anyone can make them. Stick with me because by the end of this video you'll have 10 proven recipes that will supercharge your soil and crops without buying a single bag of chemicals. Welcome back to Soil and Crop Central. Today, I'm revealing 10 ancient fertilizers that big agriculture would rather keep hidden. Whether you're tending a garden or managing a farm, these natural boosters will change the way you grow forever. Let's get straight into it. Compost that always delivers. Compost is farming's oldest secret weapon. By recycling scraps and organic matter, farmers for thousands of years created humus that keeps soil alive. Compost improves structure, water retention, and microbial activity. For a liquid boost, make compost tea. Steep one part finished compost in five parts water for 24 to 48 hours. Strain it and apply to roots or leaves. It's simple, it's cheap, and it works. Worm castings for unstoppable growth. Worm castings are loaded with nutrients and microbes that plants absorb instantly. Ancient farmers noticed worm-rich soils were always more fertile, and modern science proves it. To brew worm tea, mix one cup of castings into a gallon of water. Let it sit for 24 hours and drench your crops every two weeks. You'll see stronger roots, greener leaves, and healthier plants. Bokashi, the soil probiotic. So, Bokashi is actually a Japanese method that ferments food waste into fertilizer in just about two weeks. It acts like probiotics for your soil, adding both nutrients and beneficial microbes. You can make a starter by mixing four cups of wheat bran, two tablespoons of molasses, 2 tablespoons of EM1 solution, and 2 cups of water. Add this to your food scraps, let it ferment, and then just bury it in your soil. Your plants will absolutely love the results. Biochar that keeps on giving. The Amazonians built those rich black soils using biochar, you know, made by slow-burning wood and low oxygen, biochar locks in carbon, holds nutrients, and supports soil microbes for decades. Before you use it, soak one part biochar and three parts compost tea for about a week, then just spread two quarts per square yard and mix it into your soil. Once it's charged, biochar works for years. Fish fertilizer for rapid growth. Indigenous farmers used to bury fish with their crops, and honestly, it's still one of the most effective fertilizers today. Fish emulsion is loaded with nitrogen, phosphorus, and trace minerals. Just chop up fish scraps, mix with an equal amount of water and add one tablespoon of molasses per gallon. Let it ferment for a month, giving it a stir every week. Then dilute one cup per gallon of water and feed your plants every two weeks. Growth is fast and, well, pretty dramatic. Seaweed and kelp, yeah, they really offer complete nutrition. Coastal farmers have long known that seaweed is a complete fertilizer. It provides micronutrients, potassium, and even hormones that help strengthen plants against stress. To make your own seaweed liquid, just rinse some fresh seaweed, chop it up, and then soak it in water for about two to three weeks. After that, strain the mixture and dilute one part seaweed liquid with 10 parts water. You can spray this on the leaves or pour it right at the roots. Green manures that rebuild soil. Instead of leaving fields bare, Ancient farmers sowed legumes like clover and alfalfa. These crops fix nitrogen and improve soil structure. Plant them after harvest and cut them down just as they flower. Work them into the soil and within weeks your beds will be ready for planting again, naturally enriched. Traditional manure still going strong. Animal manures have fed soils for millennia. Composting is key to make them safe and gentle. To brew manure tea, mix one part well-rotted manure with five parts water. Let it steep for three to five days, strain and pour around crops every few weeks. It's simple and effective. Korean Natural Farming Inputs Korean natural farming uses indigenous microorganisms and fermented inputs to feed both soil and crops. One example is fermented plant juice. Chop green leaves, mix with equal brown sugar, and let ferment for a week. Dilute one tablespoon per gallon of water and spray weekly. It acts like a natural growth booster. Fermented teas that supercharge soil. 
Farmers across cultures brewed natural teas to boost soil life. Today compost teas and microbial brews continue that tradition. To make, place two cups of compost in a cloth bag and submerge in a five-gallon bucket of water. Aerate with an aquarium pump for 24 hours. Apply to roots or leaves every two weeks for healthier, more resilient plants.